Welcome to Inside UNA Basketball. All right, welcome to Inside UNA Basketball. I'm your host, Sam Bucks, and I'm here with head coach Bobby Champagne. Coach Champagne, real tough weekend. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was a real tough weekend, Sam. Uh, we we uh, coming off of a uh, pretty good win at CBU and, and feeling pretty good and having next five games at home, you feel like you're in pretty good shape. And then uh, we get out to a very, very, very slow start against West Alabama. And uh, we really come back strong at the end of the half and put ourselves in a, win, uh, a position where we can at least get in overtime and come up a little bit short. Then we got to bounce back against a rival, Huntsville on Saturday, and uh, start out slow again. We're down 11 points, battle back, and uh, we, we took the lead a couple times in the second half. Second half was back and forth, back and forth. But again, we come up three points short, so we, we lose two games at home by five uh, total points. And it's really tough on the guys. To, to play so hard and to be so close, but then uh, then come up just a little bit short. And just, just a little margin for error. And uh, last year seemed like we won a lot of those games. This year we've, we've come up on the short end of several of those close ball games. Yeah. Nevertheless, the team was out there battling. The game against West Al was one of the most physical I've seen. It's the type of game I'd watch and want to get in and then get in there and realize I kind of just want to watch the game on the sidelines. Yeah, it was a, it was a real physical ball game. Uh, West Alabama is, is extremely athletic and very physical, and that's they, they really crashed the boards. That last possession where they got four four shots, three offensive rebounds. Um, you know, obviously we got to box out, but that they're a tough team to box out, and and that's been a big problem for us uh, in in the games that we've lost. We, we've been out rebounded, but we're going to bounce back, and uh, our, our teams our teams looking forward to the second half of conference play. We'll be right back after this break. 2014 starts our 50th year at Ray Miller Buick GMC, the Shoals only locally owned and operated GM dealership. For only $199 per month, you can drive the 2014 Buick Encore, the 2014 GMC Terrain, the 2014 Buick LaCrosse is $249 a month, the Acadia is $299 a month. You get a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with Buick and a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty with GMC. Ray Miller Buick GMC, Cox Creek Parkway, Florence. 50 years of satisfied customers. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sam. It's bedtime. Oh, ten more minutes, please. Ten more. Yes. Please. Hey, Daddy. Will you buy us some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. Each time I turn around. Never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. Great competition against West Alabama last weekend. West Long with a great individual, individual performance, 17 points, zero turnovers in 36 minutes of play, shooting a tremendous percentage, three from three from the free throw line and four from five from behind the arch. Let's take a look at these highlights against West Alabama. Connect on both, and it's now a 9-0 lead. West Alabama with a lead as we near the three minute mark into the first half. Sean with the ball on the right wing for UNA. Right in the dribble, now pulls up for a long two-pointer, and the 20-footer is good. Markwell Darrington works it up the court for UNA, gets it up to Nathan, right wing, thought about a three-pointer, so he gets it back out to Markwell. Left-handed dribble, gives it over to Rashawn, left wing. Rashawn, with space, gives it back to Markwell. Coach Bobby Champagne telling him to move the ball around. Nathan, right wing, three-pointer on the way. And Nathan Spear, the three-point percentage leader for the Gulf South Conference, knocks it down. And Underwood capitalizes on the second chance. And Underwood knocks down three-pointer. West Long, three-pointer from the right wing. And West answers for UNA. Now near side, Sandy Underwood. Underwood drives in the lane, right-handed dribble. Puts up a shot blocked by Yeti Vachetza. And Yeti with the block for UNA. And Nathan gives off to West. Right wing, three-pointer on the way. And West Long with a three-pointer has brought UNA within 10. Gives it off to Markwell. In two and a half minutes remaining, UNA's cut it to eight. Markwell brings it in the far sideline to the left wing. Yeti over to Rashawn, right wing. Left-handed dribble. Pump fake. Gets it off to Bruce. Wide open three-pointer on the way. And Bruce Adams knocks down the three-pointer. And UNA now within five. alley -oop pass, no good. Trying to get it in to Leon Tillman. Rashawn Claiborne with a rebound for UNA. 
And there's 25 seconds remaining here in the first half. Shot clock is off, and it appears that UNA is going to hold for the last shot. Devin McNeil, crossover between the legs. Looks to his left, around the screen from Rashawn. Crossover dribble, great separation. It's in to Rashawn. Left-handed layup is good, and UNA takes their first lead of the game on the layup by Rashawn Claiborne. Picks up his dribble, gives it left wing. Tillman inside to Poe. Now they kick it back out to Underwood. Underwood gives it off. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound taken by West. And West gives it to Marquell near sideline. Dribbles left-handed. Over to West. West, three-pointer from the Lion, and he makes it. And West Long with a three-pointer. And Desmond Raymond knocks down the three-pointer. It's back to a two-point game, 44-42. Each team trading three-pointers here early on. West, top of the key, block, gets his own rebound, goes in, lays it up with the right hand, and West Long puts it in. Lions on top by two. Markwell, right wing, goes out to West. Left wing, thought about it, so he's gonna swing it around. Right wing, driving, Rashawn drives the baseline, puts it up, puts it in. New ball on the right wing, Wolfolk will pull up. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound taken by Nathan. Gets it up to Yeti, and Yeti on the breakaway. Finger roll on the assist from Nathan Spear. Yeti ties it up, 54 on the finger roll. And quickly up the floor, the Tigers. And going up for it is Underwood. Underwood shot blocked by Vachetza. And Yeti goes off to Calvin, back to Yeti. And the behind-the-back pass saved by Marquell. Over to wide open, West Long, left wing. Three-pointer is good. Champagne. And Devin will inbound it underneath Yune's own goal. Inbounds pass, comes out to Calvin. Left elbow, pump fake, goes in the lane, puts up the shot. And Calvin Day with the body control gets the finger roll to go with the left hand. And it's under two minutes to play. Yune down by three, 70 67. Calvin inside, spins out to Bruce, over to Nathan. Nathan. Crossover dribble gets it inside to Calvin. Calvin finds Bruce Adams wide open, and Bruce slams it home. 69 to 70. 70 to 69. UNA working to our left. Nathan brings it across midcourt. Hands off to Marquell. Marquell gives it to Bruce. Bruce inside to Calvin. Calvin, spin move. Lays it up and lays it in. And UNA with a one point lead, 71 70. Right wing, drives baseline, Markwell puts up a shot. Shot blocked, no good. Ball's loose. Turn around, jump shot, no good. Put back, no good. Ball being fought for. Oh, no. Oh, no, the ball is tipped in as the horn expires. Wes Long is this week's Wyker Realty Player of the Game. Wes Long turned in one of his best shooting performances of the season in the 74-72 loss versus Gulf South Conference rival West Alabama. The senior, playing in his fourth season, scored 17 points and pulled down four rebounds in the Thursday night contest as the Lions dropped below 500 in Gulf South Conference play. The Summertown, Tennessee native did most of his damage from beyond the three-point line, making four of the five shots he attempted. He also finished the game with an assist and was perfect from the free throw line, making all three of his attempts. Long has played every game since arriving on UNA's campus. He was named Gulf South Conference East Division Freshman of the Year during the 2010-2011 season. He is averaging eight points per game and four rebounds per game. He is shooting 34% from the three-point line and 91% from the free throw line on the season. He has scored 242 points this season and 857 in his career. Wes Long is your Weikert Realty Player of the Game. Player of the Game brought to you by agents Robin Cousins and Anna Champagne of Weikert Realty. When you support Lil Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, our community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Seven locations in Florence. Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway and Chisholm Road. Cloverdale Road, Petersville. Woodward Avenue, Muscle Shoals. And Highway 72 in Killen. Lil Steve's. Believe in America. 
A great combination, Frostbite and Montague's. Florence's first self-serve yogurt shop has over 50 rotating flavors and over 100 rotating toppings. Customizable frozen yogurt. When the cup is full, the toppings are close by. Just weigh and pay. All sandwiches at Montague's are under $5. The best Philly cheesesteak and Reuben in town. Delicious sides and they cater. Get a UNA student discount and they accept the main card. Like Frostbite on Facebook. Frostbite and Montague's, 1611 North Pine Street, Florence. Opening this spring, Frostbite on the UNA campus. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. Another great game against UAH this last weekend. Six players in double figures. Marquel Darrington leading those six players with 19 points, two assists, and two steals. Let's take a look at these highlights. Now an 11 0 ball game. Three and a half minutes into this one, and UAH, the UAH crowd that made the trip over Montsville, standing in the right end zone. Marquel, left wing, gets it back to Calvin Dade. 19 footer on the way, and Calvin Dade knocks down the first basket of the game for UNA. Back, back up top to Gardner. Gardner, ball knocked away by Spear. Spear on the floor, diving for it. Gets it, gives it to Calvin Dade. And Dade skies for the one-handed slam. And Calvin Dade regains some momentum for UNA. It's now 11 to four. Rebound taken by Blossy, puts it up and in, no good. And Yeti Vachetza there for the rebound for UNA. And quickly, Devin McNeil, right wing, gets it inside to Calvin Dade. Calvin, spin move, fade away. And Calvin with a fadeaway eight footer. And Connor Blasey will have to come out to the bench. He must pass. Nathan Spear, left wing, three pointer on the way. And Nathan Spear knocks it down on the design the inbounds play. Nathan works to the left wing. It's off to Calvin Day, top of the key. Swings over to Markwell. Markwell to Bruce. Over to Sean, left wing, pump fake. Great separation. Gets his defender up. Finds Bruce Adams underneath. And Bruce driving down the baseline, lays it up and in. Nathan Spear, Tyler Pritchard, and Yeti Vachetza check in for UNA. Calvin over to Nathan on the left wing. Nathan, left wing, three-pointer on the way. And Nathan Spear buries another three-pointer from the left wing. And Diedrich knocks down the three-pointer. And it's now 32 to 23 after the third, excuse me, sixth three-pointer for UAH. Yeti's going to take one from the top of the key, and Yeti. Answers with a three-pointer. Steve Webster misses his free throw in the UNA with the rebound. Rashawn going to take a three-pointer from the left wing, and Rashawn knocks it down. Wes Long, top of the key, over to Marquell, right wing. Marquell, right-handed dribble. Gets it back to Yeti, top of the key. Over to Rashawn on the left wing. Rashawn dribbles to his right, top of the key. Yeti ends up to Marquell. Three-pointer right wing, Marquell Darrington knocks down the three-pointer. Game tracker brought to you by Hampton Inn and Suites downtown. Fill the Hampton Alley, UAH. Largest lead of the game right now, 14 points, 64 to 50. And Nathan Spear has it. He's out to West, top of the key. Three-pointer from West on the line. No good, too short. Bruce with the rebound. Marquell, right wing, three-pointer. And Marquell Darrington knocks down the three-pointer. Cross-court pass, UAH breaks the press, gets it to Spencer Palmer. Palmer over to Diedrich, left wing. Diedrich in the lane, drives with the right hand, puts up a shot, no good. Challenged by Dade, rebound taken by Calvin. Over to West, near sideline. West, three-pointer, and West Small knocks down the three-pointer from the left sideline. Markwell Darrington receives the inbounds pass from Bruce Adams and works it across midcourt. Comes to the near left wing. Now over in the quarter, Bruce Adams gets the pass from Claiborne, and Bruce powers his way up to the rim and lays it in for two. Lays it up over Rashawn Claiborne as Claiborne came in for the block. Lays it up and in, back to nine points. Markwell Darrington, left wing. Now over to the right wing with Rashawn Claiborne. Claiborne, pull up, three-pointer on the way, and Claiborne knocks down the three-pointer, and UNA will pick up full court press. Sends it over to Wayne Diedrich, back to Webster. Down the left block, fade away, jump shot, put up, no good. Rebound taken by Bruce Adams. Bruce gets off to Marquell. And Marquell over to Rashawn. Rashawn into the lane. Pulls up, gets Calvin underneath on the baseline. Calvin, great post move, reverse layup is put up. And the layup is good. Brings it near court. Right in front of us. Marquell, right-handed dribble. Gets it off to Nathan, top of the key. Nathan works around the screen from West, gets to the right wing. Left-handed dribble into the lane, nearly loses it. Gives it off to Marquell, left corner, three-pointer on the way, no good. 
off the front of the rim, but Calvin Dade there with the offensive rebound for UNA, and Nathan's going to take a three from the right wing, and Nathan Spear knocks it down. Gives it off to Gardner, and Yeti Machetso with a steal. Gives it off to Devin McNeil, and Devin brings up the court to the right wing for UNA. Gives it off to Nathan. Nathan left in a dribble inside Yeti, and Yeti lays it up and lays it in on the assist from Nathan Spear. Marquell guarding the backcourt, and Nathan gets it in to Rashawn, finds Marquell, cutting down, left-handed layup, put up by Marquell, and Marquell lays it up and in, quick two points. It must pass to Nathan Spear, Spear, quick left to four. Drives into the lane, puts up the floater, no good. Yeti there for the rebound, puts it back up and in. Gardner misses, rebound taken by Marquell. Four seconds left, over to Nathan, left wing. Three-pointer on the way. Off the left side of the backboard, no good. And that'll be the final score. UNA will fall 86 to 89 to UAH. The Chargers come on the road to Florence and defeat UNA 89 to 86. Markwell Darrington is this week's Weikert Realty Player of the Game. It was a game in which six players scored in double figures with Markwell Darrington scoring 19 points in the 86-89 loss versus Gulf South Conference rival Alabama Huntsville. The senior playing in his third season led the Lions in points but also had two assists and two steals in the afternoon contest. The Montgomery Alabama native made six of 11 field goals and was five of six from the free throw line. Darrington is coming off an injury which caused him to miss seven games this season. He is averaging eight points per game and four rebounds per game. He is shooting 44% from the field, 39% from the three-point line, and 83% from the free throw line on the season. He is third on the team in assists with 37 and also has 15 steals on the season. Markwell Darrington is your Weikert Realty Player of the Game. The Player of the Game brought to you by agents Robin Cousins and Anna Champagne of Weikert Realty. coach's role is huge. What we do is point guys in the right direction and try to prepare them for what's coming next. If you develop a player off the court, it's going to help him for his future. Compete in the classroom as much as you compete on the basketball court. We all as coaches have to be aware that we're involved not just with our team, but in our community. And I think it all starts with the head coach in terms of how they carry themselves and how we lead. Together, we can beat cancer. Text coach to 20222 to donate $5. is the most interesting man in the shoals. He is an artist, a writer, a philosopher, a historian, musician, astronomer, wine connoisseur, environmentalist, peace prize recipient. When he speaks, people hang on each and every word, especially the verbs. His personality is so magnetic that he cannot carry credit cards. It is said that once he taught a German shepherd how to bark in Spanish and taught a horse to read his email. Someone recently asked him what he did for fun, and here is what he said. I don't eat out every day, but when I do, I eat at City Hardware because to me, it's the most interesting restaurant in the shows. starts our 50th year at Ray Miller Buick GMC, the Shoals only locally owned and operated GM dealership. For only $199 per month, you can drive the 2014 Buick Encore, the 2014 GMC Terrain, the 2014 Buick LaCrosse is $249 a month, the Acadia is $299 a month. You get a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty with Buick and a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty with GMC. Ray Miller Buick GMC, Cox Creek Parkway, Florence. 50 years of satisfied customers. Welcome back to the Lions Lair program brought to you by CBNS Bank. Today we're joined by Rashawn Claymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's starting out very. <laughs> you should have let him go. That would have been, been great. Are right, you ready? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. Huh? 
You gonna you gonna say it? Yeah, I see. All right, right. he'll introduce himself. All right, ready? Five, four, three. Welcome to the Lions Lair program. Ah, that's no good. <laughs> ready? <laughs> three, two. Welcome to the Lions Lair portion of today's program. Today we're joined by Rashawn Claiborne. Rashawn and I are both from Louisiana, so we've uh, we've got a. Uh, little bit of connection there. Rashawn, this is your senior year and uh, you, you're one of the senior leaders on uh, this team. Uh, how, how have you taken on more of a leadership role this season? I've been trying to be very much more talkative this year and just try to get everybody else involved in the game, you know. Hey, you, you're, uh, you're a man of few words, so uh, that, that's probably been pretty hard for you just to, to become a more vocal leader, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very hard, you know. I, I have to talk more just to get everybody else involved. You've, uh, so far this season, you've, you've done uh, very well, had double-doubles, uh, increased uh, your scoring and rebounding average. Uh, what'd you do in the off season to uh, improve your game? I pretty much just tried to work out a lot and try to keep myself healthy and try to be more consistent with my jump shot and just be more vocal, whatever I was doing. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what are you majoring in, Rashad? I'm a major in health management. And uh, you, you should be getting pretty close to graduation, correct? Yeah, at this semester I will have six hours left, so hopefully I can finish up in the summer or in December. That'd be great. That'd be great. Um, tell me what's been your favorite class since you've been here at UNA. I would say my, all my English class because I finally passed all of them. <laughs> you, you've, uh, you've done a great job over the last two years of, of really uh, concentrating on your, on your academics. Uh, who's, been, who's been your favorite teammate the last two years? My favorite teammate would be Tyler. Tyler Pritchard. Tyler, Tyler's from Mississippi, and, uh, and, and he's a senior as well. Uh, tell me, other than basketball and other than coming to practice and going to classes, what, what, what's some of your hobbies? Sometimes I like to go see movies and just go walk around the mall sometimes. What's, uh, what's your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie would be the um, Medea's Christmas movie. It just came out like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Tell me, you're also an NBA fan. Who's your favorite team? The Lakers. Yeah. Well, some guys, some guys don't pick the right team, but uh, you know, I, I got to give it to Rashawn because he always sticks with his team. Rashawn, what what are you looking forward to uh, towards the end of your senior season? Well, we're looking forward to trying to win the GSC championship and go on to the national championship. Well, that'd be good. We've we've got a tradition here at UNA, and and Rashawn, you're one of one of the leaders on this team. Um, what, what's the one thing you think this team needs to do in order to, to uh, reach those goals? I think we need to be more vocal with each other and play more defense better. That would be a great thing. Coaches would love that. Rashawn, we really appreciate having you on the show today, and uh, we'll, we'll be right back after this. When I go to see my bank, they know me by name. I go to a place with banking the way it should be. My bank has convenience and great service. I love that it's a community bank. My bank says yes to lending. Our bank is CB and S Bank. <clears throat> it's banking the way it should be. Hey, Rick and Tony Valentino here, urging you to come to Flowers Hall this year and support Bobby Champagne and the UNA Lions basketball team in their quest for a Division II National Championship. Catch all the action and the excitement. Hey, UNA basketball, that's what I'm talking about. Whether it's purple and gold or any other color, Simpsons Body Shop now has three locations to help you get that damaged car repaired, painted, and back on the road. They're located at Cox Boulevard in Sheffield and Highway 72 in Killen and Broadway Street in Florence. Choose one and rest assured that you've chosen the right professionals for the job. Three generations, three brothers, three locations since 1981. Simpsons is there for you 24 hours a day. For towing and repair, Simpsons gets it right the first time. The reputation of Simpsons Collision and Repair speaks for itself. Those Simpson boys say go. Lions. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sam. It's bedtime. Oh, ten more minutes, please. Ten more. Yes. Please. Hey, Daddy. Will you buy us some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. 
Each time I turn around, never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. Welcome back to Inside UNA Basketball. As you can see, there's been some great competition the last couple of weeks in Flowers Hall, some really competitive games, really come down to the last couple of plays of the game in every game in Flowers Hall. Coach Champagne, you need to be happy with your team's performance. Yeah, I'm happy with their effort. I mean, we've been so close in all these games. Uh, really, you'd feel a whole lot better about yourself if you just scored one more basket, you made a couple more free throws. All of those games we lost, a two-point loss to West Florida, the, the uh, two-point loss to West Al and the three-point loss to uh, UAH. All could have been decided at the free throw line if we shoot what our normal percentage is uh, for that game, or if just one or two guys get one more rebound. You know, uh, Rashawn Claiborne's been playing extremely well for us all year. He gets shut out on the boards uh, against UAH, which I don't think has ever happened to him in his career. You know, we've had guys who have played well uh, in certain games and then not been so good. So the consistency is what we're really looking for. The crowd, obviously, the consistency in the crowd and the, and the fan excitement has been there. Yeah, the atmosphere has been, has been there now. Game, our game coming up, our next game is against Union on Tuesday. Tell us a little bit about that game. Yeah, we've got Union coming up. That was one of our road wins. Uh, Union's playing extremely well, have been uh, very good at home. Uh, got a, got a, uh, a last second buzzer beater where they beat West Alabama right after uh, our game with West Al. Uh, they've been very good at home. Um, obviously, we've got to play well uh, to beat them. They've got some very good shooters, and they run, run very good offense. So our defense has got to pick up. We've been at the top of the league in field goal percentage defense. And, and in our losses, those games, we've had halves where teams have shot well over 50%. So we've got to find a way to be consistent on the defensive end. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, consistency is key. I, mean, I feel like there's been so many close games in the GSC so far. There's only a couple wins and losses separating bottom of the table to top of the table even. But um, let's talk about... Um... Yeah, if you look at it, Sam, I mean, we're five points away from being in second place. I mean, that's, that's one positive way of looking at it. We're seven points away from being being right there uh, one game out. So uh, we're, we're, we're right there, Sam. And, and our team is just going to keep striving and keep battling to, uh, to get, get back in the mix of this, uh, this GSC race. Yeah, I mean, five close games. If you really think about it, you, put, you add five wins instead of the five losses, and you're, you're sitting 15 and, yeah. 15 and three. Yeah, it, it, there's a small, small margin for error, and, and there's, there's very little that separates the first place team right now is Delta State. And the last place team right now is West Florida. So we're right there, and, and we're just going to keep striving. Our guys are going to keep battling hard. And if our fans will keep coming out and supporting us, I guarantee you we'll, we'll get back to where we need to be. Yeah, I'm excited for the next couple of games. There's going to be some great basketball in Fowles Hall. Thanks for watching Inside UNA Basketball. Don't forget, for tickets to our next games, you can reach us at 76LION. See you next time. Thank you for watching Inside UNA Basketball. Please join us again next Sunday at 1130.